Fox News spends hours on Target's Pride merch and seconds on church child sex abuse scandal. It's just a very magical thing. <laughs> and do women want men shopping in the women's clothing department? Well, someone should tell Target that because they're now selling swimsuits with tuckums in the women's section of the store. And they even have a line just for kids. We're at Target right now, and there's a lot of controversy going on about all of the pride stuff that's coming out with kids' clothes. Okay, this is the child section. This is literally the kids' section. I'm next to a literal onesie that says whatever the hell that means. We have Glad You Came Out, and I'm so happy that you're queer in the kids' section. Are you kidding me? I'm sorry, but pride and toddler don't belong in the same sentence. Tuck-friendly construction. They're giving it to your kids. Oh, and it gets worse. Target hired a Satanist to put together their pride line. So if you go on the page, what you see are things like Satan loves you and respects who you are. He's a symbol of passion, pride, and liberty. Oh, and Satan respects pronouns. So if you want little Johnny wearing a Satan respects pronouns shirt over his Tuckum swimsuit, check out your local Target. It's just a weird thing to sell. But if you look around, that's all we're being sold. If you're a fan of the LA Dodgers, get ready for some dingers because Dodgers are hosting a pride night. Now, ball clubs have hosted pride nights before, but the one at Dodger Stadium special, dudes dressed up as nuns might be throwing out the first pitch. <sighs> a new report from media watchdog group Media Matters revealed that Fox News dedicated more than two hours of hysterical coverage on the backlash to Target's Pride Month displays while running less than a half minute of coverage on a new bombshell report detailing sex abuse in the Catholic Church in Illinois. According to the report, the right-wing TV network spent two hours, 12 minutes, and 32 seconds covering the target backlash between May 23rd and May 30th, coverage which included multiple Fox correspondents expressing outrage that Target would expose children to clothing with positive messages about the LGBT, LGBTQ plus community. Fox devoted just 22 seconds of airtime to cover findings of an investigation conducted by the Illinois Attorney General's office accusing 451 clergy members from the Illinois Catholic Church of abusing nearly 2,000 children in the state over a period spanning nearly 70 years. Those figures are significantly higher than the 103 individuals previously acknowledged by the church when the state's review began in 2018. The repeated targeting of pro-LGBTQ plus products and sentiments thinly veiled as defenses of children's innocence fit into Fox and right-wing media's larger homophobic campaign to conflate the LGBTQ plus community with grooming and child abuse. Mm. Uh, I mean, <laughs> all right, I don't even know where to begin. So, I mean, start unpacking, Julio. Let's, start there's unpacking. a lot to unpack here. Let's get la maleta and like start like our, our suitcase and start like, because um, I, I, I guess I just want to start with um, watching that that video and fought, was bonkers. Like that is like, I mean, the, it, it was hard to even, I, I don't know how people are able to watch that. And I mean, and part of the problem here, right, is the, this, this is, that's not news, right? That's, that's some kind of entertainment, it's rhetoric, it's, rhetoric. rhetoric, it's yeah. propaganda. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, it's meant to, to be sensational and, 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 and not factual. And, uh, you know, it's not all the news that's fit to print, like, or something, right? It's, it's really something else. Um, I, I'm really also just really perturbed, obviously, if not the, the, the amount of the discrepancy here by something that is actually very clearly affecting children, um, the disregard for for understanding the violence on children, um, and not 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 wanting to investigate that in any in any way to understand that, and that's not you're, it's a disservice to all of us, right? To, Absolutely. To, um, and it's of course against what the fourth estate that is the media is supposed to be doing. Like this is not. There's just this, like a grievance after grievance, and and I mean that video of the woman in Target or something. 
Yeah. I mean, she she's entitled to have that opinion. Don't purchase that. Right. Like that is, you know, or don't go into the section. Don't right? go into the section. Right. Like, I mean, there are children who may want those. Right. Like who may very much want that product. Yeah. Right. Um, you as a consumer have a perfectly uh, legitimate right to not purchase it. Right. To not support Target, not to not to claim that this is a form of child pedophilia or grooming or anything else. Yeah. But look, Julio, look at how much how many words, how many times we've said the word target, look at how much yeah. free advertisement they've gotten out of yeah. it. Yeah. So it makes yeah. you think, did they push this propaganda? Did they push Fox News into, into covering it for so long? Because this is just free coverage. This is free advertisement for them. Yeah. Yeah. You know, you're now you're telling all those people who are the extreme right wings, come to Target and spend your money here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, I mean, you have to look at it both ways. It's, it's, yeah. it's all about money. It's yeah. all about business. Oh, yeah, but you know, it's yeah. an attack on us. But at the end of the day, like you said, the bigger per reason is why aren't they talking about what's important? Right. The children who I, have been, I, who have been I, attacked. Ask broadly, uh, um, um, you know, uh, allow me to challenge um, Fox News' uh, presentation Please of do. product. <laughs> um, That's an affront to all are of us. We, <laughs> right. Well, and they're clearly not. Uh, you know, in the immortal words of Donald Trump, they're fake news. Um, but uh, do we think that this kind of product should be in target and should be accessible? Uh, um, uh, some of the tucking uh, products that they sold. Um, that was not in the baby's part. I, I, well, I know, and, and I'm, I'm going to get to that in, in a moment. Um, but, but just broadly, do you think it was a good decision of Target to incorporate Pride merchandise like that? Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. And, and Absolutely. why? Why do you think that? Well, as a business owner, I want to be welcoming to all. You know, I don't want to offend or n not include anyone who may come into my business. So Target being a corporation, they see what's happening. Like, look at the beer front, right? Like, get out yep. there and be supportive. Absolute's been one of our biggest supporters in our community mm. since before I came mm -hmm. out. So there's, we've always had those corporations that have come, come forward, right? So Target thought, let's just push the envelope and see if we can get into this market. And, and they, they decided, you know what? The backlash for them was too real mm -hmm. because we have TikTok and Twitter and all those things. 15 years ago, this would have never happened because we didn't have that social media. So they didn't have that instant gratification Let, of being put their Let's assume for a moment, uh, generally everybody at the table agrees with that opinion. Let's just as assume that that's the case. Um, there is a significant, wait, uh, careful on defining significant. There is a reasonable number of people in the LGBTQ community that feel like we've gone too far. And this is an example of how we've gone too far. And therefore, if we wouldn't do this, they would like us better, or we would be under less attack. What do you think about that observation? Of then, then the bullying community? worked. Yes. Then yes. the bullying worked, and we, they got exactly what they wanted, Al. This evolution of our community has to continue to evolve, and we need to continue to evolve with it. Mm. No, I was, I was, I, I, you know how happy I was over Target. You know, I love that they had trans merchandise. That was something that they didn't have last year, and it was yeah. so inclusive. To be that LGBTQ plus youth and see themselves in a t-shirt at Target yep. was so huge that, no, I didn't think that they should bring it back or lay low or be quiet till 4th of July, yeah, you know, I, which is why I, and, why I won't shop at Target. I won't shop at Target from now on. I just won't. Yeah. And, and we can't, we can't continue to put, you know, the T in the LGBTQ plus back into a closet because okay. we don't like, you know, what, what, whatever feelings they might stir up in people that don't like us to begin with. Or they don't okay. understand. Or they don't understand. Yes. Well, and, and even, and even in the LGBTQ plus community or the queer community, it's, yes, the trans community might be a small percentage of who we are, but they need to be well represented and well seen because in how we treat the least of these in our community is 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 how we are is how we're treating each other. Mm, absolutely. Yeah. So we have to continually to you know bring them up, show showcase them, and have the same representations that we want. We, they should also have everywhere across the board, no matter where. We should have well, their back. I mean, we should. Bottom, the bottom line is, we need to. I don't want to say be out loud and proud, but why should we have to? restrain yeah. from celebrating who we are. Right. We don't ask anyone else, any other community to do that. That would be like saying, don't celebrate Juneteenth. It's going to offend people. Yeah. yeah. You know, you can't, can't make do that. Uncomfortable. And yeah. it's not hurting anyone. It's not hurting right? anyone. Like, that is like, yeah. that's okay. the... We get to the, 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 that's the soundbite um, uh, on the issue. The other thing that I think is uh, interesting, Harold, uh, you're, you're a pastor. Um, they, uh, they conflate uh, this idea that this kind of merchandise associates LGBT with grooming. And that's ultimately uh, what they're trying to right. associate. Yeah. Meanwhile, when Fox is spending two and a half hours t selling this story, uh, 2,000 children are actually groomed yes. to abusive levels, right. and they spend 22 seconds on it. By, well, the, church. Well, here, By yeah. the church. But here's the thing, you know, 
many people continue to when they see gay, all they see is sex. Yep. Mm -hmm. Even 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 as you know, when when you're a child, like you children that come out, the, the first thing that, or even as an adult, when you come out, the first thing people sometimes ask you is like, well, how does that work? How do you two have sex? Like, how 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 is any of that possible? Mm -hmm. And you have to ask yourself like, why is there this obsession with sex when it comes to everything LGBTQ That's a great plus? Point. Yeah. So when they see a pride in a child t-shirt, they're not seeing that the child wants to just celebrate their gay, you know, mom, dad, you know, whatever, their, 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 their new queer family. They're seeing, oh, that child is, is associated with something that is sexual. And that's just not true. And then they don't, and then the fact that they don't talk about, yeah. you know, the abuse that has happened in the Catholic Church is crazy because that is actually affecting kids in a yep. sexual manner. There's a power control and play there that those kids are going to be affected forever and the trauma that is that is put on them is unacceptable yeah. that uh, that has to be done by the church and it can be generational uh, right? it, it is it, it will be generational will be yes generational. It, will it gets passed their, down exactly yeah their family. it's also red meat though it's bait right like that is like and it's been an effective form for the right for a long time they just throw whether it's anita bryan or, or with hiv aids or even before with you know the johns committee they know that if they throw con children into the conversation that suddenly it's it's manipulative right like yeah. that is like because it shuts down the conversation yeah. there's right. one one last point before we move on to Faye that i think is incredibly dangerous and, and julio makes the point of something um, at the time of Anita Bryan or the Johns Committee or the, or the examples that Julio gave, um, which are similar actions today, but something new is happening and a very dangerous portion of this story. And that is the creation of artificial intelligence. The story connection about the Satanist um, was completely rejected as being fake. It was an artificial intelligence uh, imaging that was created, and Fox repeats it as fact. Yeah. And they repeat it and repeat it and repeat it as facts, a fact, and then when they're caught, wait, this was created by artificial intelligence. It's absolutely not true. Or the issue of showing products at Target that absolutely never existed, but created by artificial intelligence. It takes so long to stop the AI of going, this is not true. And then Fox gives the 22 seconds of going, oh, we reported on such and such, and it turns out not to be true. Now, next. <laughs> mm -hmm. But they spent two and a half hours over the course of a week pounding. Right. Yeah, well, that's why journalism but, and the integrity of uh, journalism is gone, yeah. right? Yeah. That level of integrity that goes with journalism and really c caring about the news and reporting it the right way, that's gone. Yeah. Those but, days are gone. But the thing is, like, even if it was produced or made by someone that is a Satanist. Like in this country, that's okay. Like you, right. you're allowed to work allowed as a Satanist, to a Satanist in whatever you want to do. Yep. So I, I don't know. Also, I don't want to, I, I won't believe it. Common sense would have told you, right? That this is not a real story, right? right that right, Satanists right. are not like, you know, I don't know, outside, like common doing spells on your children. Me. That's the thing is that like, common sense is not yeah. common and it's relative and I will shut up. Yeah. <laughs> We are Queer News Tonight, the world's first and only live daily LGBTQ plus evening news show from Happening Out Television Network. In the model of PBS and NPR, we educate, inform, and entertain by supporting the 10 pillars of the LGBTQ plus community with more than 100,000 a week watching on Roku, Apple Television, and other channels. To keep the stories going, we accept donations with 100% transparency stay updated, and live authentically with Queer News Tonight.